Let, let's talk about Stellar Blade for a minute and the media's response to it. They seem to be rejecting it like uh, you would some sort of organ transplant right now. They're, they're heaving and, and retching and they're possessed by an evil spirit. You know, pretty girls and everything. It came out that it's going to be uncensored in all countries that it releases in. And uh, a lot of the gamers are like, yeah, sweet, great. We get the original vision of the game that the developers intended. The journalists seem to be very upset. The gaming journalists, you know, that the, the report on games are upset that a game is doing well. Who gives a shit? Most of the gamers that are like serious, they just go elsewhere. They go to independent media to get their information on games because they don't want to be preached to all day long. You know, give me the information about what's coming out and what's in it. And don't you don't have to editorialize fucking everything. You should not like it because it's got a pretty girl in it and it's exploitation and sexism and all this stuff. And they just keep hurling insults at gamers that that find this game appealing. I guess we can all just kind of sit back and laugh as this game does well. It's really not an issue, I don't think. I don't think this is really an issue. I think most gamers don't care. You can have a pretty girl in it. You cannot have a pretty girl in it. Is the gameplay fun? That's first and foremost. Is the gameplay going to be fun? Is the gameplay loop engaging? Is the story slightly interesting? These are the three things you really need. And then the pretty girl, that's aesthetics. That's just, a, that's icing on a cake. But it only goes so far. Just like when people were playing uh, Nier Automata and they had a thong going up her ass. Like, yeah, it was great to look at at first. And then you started playing the game and then it just kind of melts into the background. Like you don't see it anymore while you're playing the game. And every now and again, you'll catch a glimpse of me like, oh yeah, it's a pretty character. I like playing as this character or what, whatever your thoughts may be. But it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't take over your entire gameplay experience because it only goes so fucking far you can't just make a game with a pretty character in it and just let it sit there and, and it be a shit game like people are just gonna stop playing that game it's not gonna be fun they're like oh it's a pretty character but there's a lot of games with pretty characters in it <laughs> so why would i play this one if the gameplay sucks ass why would i fucking play it you wouldn't you wouldn't fucking play it at all you don't see this very often like i applaud shift up for for doing something different. They've been telling you know, the games journalists to go fucking eat shit and they're gonna do what they want and they don't care what the, the access media has to say about it. They're basically saying, we're gonna see what the gamers have to say about it. And you know, you know it's okay, that's a good way to do it. That's a good way to do it, which is good. It's good to hear. Hopefully they maintain that. Hopefully they maintain that, that vigor. It's just escapism, man. That's all this is, it's escapism. All right, if you want to say game is bad, I was like, it's no different than reading a book in a lot of in a lot of sense. Now, reading a book can be beneficial for you in different ways, for sure. It's good for you. I read books all the time. You're reading it to escape, to go to a land far away that you're not a part of and go on adventures that you will never physically be able to do. Great. That's wonderful. Why do you think people play games too? They play games in order to do the exact same thing, to kind of get away from the humdrum of life and transport themselves to a different area. This is the same thing. Just playing a game like this, you're you're no longer, I'm no longer Joe Average uh, working in a factory. I'm now a badass female fucking space warrior who's uh, running around killing aliens <laughs> like in a skin tight suit. Who gives a shit? Gamers like fun games. This looks like it's gonna be a pretty fun game. I mean, Shift Up is doing, I think they're doing a pretty good job. Their their PR campaign has been, you know, really, really good as far as I can see. It's exactly how you should handle it. They keep saying that we want to give the fans what they want. They want to put out a product that they're proud of and that they can fully get behind and update into the future. They, they were kind of putting their dick out there and just seeing what happens. According to the developer, it's not going to be, there's not going to be a bunch of microtransactions either, or any at all, from what I understand, from what I read. No microtransactions, and that's rare, coming from a gotcha developer who is now coming over into the single player landscape, which, I, has that happened? I don't know if that's happened. Let me know in the, in the comments if I'm missing something on that one. I'm sure Sony had something to say about it at first, and then they were like, well, we'll just go to Xbox then. We'll go to Xbox or wherever, or just be on PC, and you guys can cry about it. And Sony was like, you know what? This might be a good opportunity to sell some games and exclusives. Like, I don't really like exclusivity all that much. When systems and, and corporations just buy a game and they can only have it on there for however many years. It's just a, it's just an old tactic to use to get people to buy your your system. Is it a net benefit? That's a, that's a, that's a video for another day. Are exclusives really a benefit for the gaming landscape? The games journalist shitting on gamers all this time for the last decade and a half you know for what we like and what we buy and how they perceive us 
there's only been a benefit for the independent. They only exist now in, in the form that they do because games journalists fucking lost their mind and decided to all become like slobbering activists for their cause or whatever it is. And it changes daily and it's <laughs> the standards seem to be all over the place. But in playing the demo, it's a solid demo and it seems like there's a good foundation there for a game. Do I know if the game's going to be good overall? It seems like it's going to be fine. It's going to be at least good. Now, does that mean you go out and rush out? I say pre-order it? No. Always wait to listen to who it is you respect online in your independent media sphere and see what they have to say about it. But don't base your opinion just based on somebody else all the time. You know that. You know that. You guys are smart. They said they'll keep updating the game if that's what the fans want. And they'll keep doing, you know, different stuff and adding new content, which is great. And I hope the game does well and I hope people are happy with the product. Ultimately, we'll, we'll, we'll see what, what goes on in the future of this game. But if, as long as they maintain their, their position on that and then just don't bend, don't bend the knee. Don't bend your knee for any of these fucking access media weirdos. Play the game. No shame. Till we meet again.